Tips for entering your coursework on Cal State Apply. After you've created your Cal State Apply account, you will need to enter all of your coursework in the application. This is found in the Academic History section of the application. Before you get started, be sure to have a copy of your unofficial transcripts from Citrus College and all other colleges and universities you've attended. If applicable, you'll want to have a copy of your Advanced Placement or AP scores. After you complete the college's attended section, you can begin the transcript entry portion of the application. You will then add a semester. Begin with your first semester at Citrus as stated in your transcript. Enter the term and the year. Then you will enter the academic status. Put freshman for approximately your first 30 units of coursework. And for all semesters after that, you can put sophomore. In the completion status box, you will select completed for past semesters. Put in progress planned for the semester you're taking classes in now and for future semesters that you have planned here at Citrus College. Here's how to enter your courses. Click add a course. Begin typing your course code in the left box. Transferable courses should begin to pop up as you type and you can then select the course. The title and units will auto-populate, but you will need to select a subject. Try your best to select a matching subject, but remember what's more important is that you correctly enter the course number and title as they appear on your transcript. Make sure the units match what's listed on your transcript. You will see another box that gives you the option of selecting 00, 25, 50, or 75. These are the decimal points for the units. For example, if a course was 1.5 units, you would enter a 1 in the unit box and select 50 here. If your course doesn't pop up, manually type it in exactly as it's listed on your transcript. If a semester has been completed, you will need to add the grade you received in each course. Here are some examples of questions we often get regarding your grades. If you have a W or withdraw on your transcript, you must enter a W in the grade section. The same goes for an I or incomplete. There are some situations where a course may be excluded from your transferable GPA either due to repeating the course or completing academic renewal. For these courses, if you see an E next to the class on your transcript, that means you may need to enter a different grade code. For classes you repeated, enter an RP in the first attempt. In the second attempt, you'll enter your passing letter grade. For classes you did an academic renewal on, enter AR instead of the D or F. Remember, you can only enter a RP or an AR in the place of a grade if it's been officially excluded on your Citrus College transcript, which we note by an E next to the course. Other colleges may annotate this differently, so be sure to contact the college if you have any questions. For students that completed an AP test in high school, you can enter these in your first semester at Citrus College. This is especially important if the course is being used to satisfy a Golden 4 requirement. Here's how to enter an AP score. Under Course Code, enter AP and the abbreviated subject. Then, under Course Title, enter AP and the full subject description. Next, under Subject, select Test Credit slash No Subject from the drop-down menu. For credits, you'll enter the credits that are being awarded by Citrus College. And you can put CR for credit in the grade box and be sure to check the transferable box on the right. Thanks for watching. If you need additional assistance, the Citrus College Career Transfer Center is here to help. You can make an appointment or come to one of our many workshops or application open forums. Click the link in the description box below to see our event calendar. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at citruscollege underscore CTC.